Ding's Crucible debut turned into a baptism of fire, but how would Northern Ireland's Mark Allen cope on his first appearance? The answer, very well. Here's frame 14 with Allen leading Ken Darty 7-6. Mind you, it was 6-3, so Darty's on the comeback trail. Willie Thorne's commentary partner is now Terry Griffiths. First red from Ken. One. Now they need a nice angle here. Looks if he's got it on the brown. Can play for the loose red or go into the pack. All depends how he feels. Perfect. Five. Six. Couldn't have wished for a better split there. Not only did the red, red split, of course, it didn't move the black off the spot and the black available now into both corners. 13. I mean, when he's 14. playing this split here, hopefully you're obviously hoping to get on a red, but just watch, keep an eye on the cue ball. Like it's gone through that little gap there, look, without making contact with the black. I mean, that's a miracle, the way that finished. Yes, but we did add an instance earlier on when 21. Ken played a superb shot off the brown in and out of Bark and split him and on nothing. It comes and goes, the luck, Willie. The only one that never had any luck was you, really, I think, when you were playing. And Quite just as well you didn't. You'd have been beating all of them well. I always used to beat you, mate. That was the guns. <laughs> Everybody used to beat me. <coughs> 29. 30. I can't recall a frame here when Ken's got in very early with a good chance. Yeah, it's a good point. I think it's always been off Mark Allen's misses rather than Ken creating an opening. I think of the 13 frames we've already had. I think Ken's got it on his own, maybe once. The rest of the time it's been when Mark's missed. Here's another opportunity that Ken's let slip. 37. If Ken somehow gets through this match, you've got to take your hat off to him because not many players who have been kind of sadly out of touch could have got through. Good recovery. 38. And a nice angle now. There's two reds above the black, the right and one of the two as we look. This was a good pot. He knew exactly where the cue ball, cue ball was going to finish. And that the right hand red I mentioned of the two is what he pushed through. That was perfect. Well played. 45. Well, this is 26. what we expect from Ken most of the time, but uh, we haven't seen much of it in this uh, match so far. But if there's a, a time to play well, it's now. They've had their sessions on and off and uh, trying to win the match or get in a position to win it or to hold on, like in Ken's situation. But this is win or lose time. You don't get any other intervals. 54. Whatever happens to you now, out there, you've got to handle it. 
62. Needs only one more red to, to level again at 7 all. So there'll be no cannons into the pack here who play the loose red rather than risk playing a cannon. So just the red needed. 69 70 well, a little unlucky. 75 Frame is more or less over. He'd like to clear them up though. Seven to he six. may well do after that shot. Is this the same guy? Eighty one. Eighty two. Only broke off in this frame. Long route from Ken, and he's off to go. Been a little bit all round the table, as you can see there, with the yellow or brown, two blues. But now you'd be surprised if he didn't make a century. One of the few players who have 92. made over 200 competitive centuries, Ken. 238 he's had so far, so this is a chance for 239. 9 Well played. First class. One hundred and one. Chance of setting a slightly higher target than the target we already have for the high break. Won't be enough I don't think. I think you need to make 140 plus to have a chance of winning the I think it's 20,000 this year for the high break. 110. My colleague who's up on all these stats tells me it's 10,000. 113. One hundred and break of this match. Ken Doherty class they say comes to the top after a while and that was classy. He's back now. It's all tied up. Seven frames each. What a break from Doherty. The storm looked to have been weathered but it wasn't. Assisted by runs of 68, 41 and 54, Alan won the next two frames. He leads 9-7. Doherty staring at oh, elimination. Mark well he's missed the red completely. And Mark Allen can see the, the red past the pink, so he won't be replacing the balls. The pressure for Ken here, of course, is quite simple. He's, uh, he's got to win all frames. He's playing against a player that tends to knock everything in, in spells, and uh, that's what he's got to watch out for. And he'd be disappointed with that safety shot. One. First chance to Mark Allen. Not a great chance, will he? Yeah, I totally agree with you, Terry. Black out of commission, and uh, I'm not too sure where the pink's going to go yet. Obviously, I can't quite tell from here whether the pink spot is going to be plenty of room for it to pot in all pockets. We'll have a look in a second where it goes. It certainly looks like it should be at a spot. 
Yeah, spots comfortably, doesn't it? Seven. So it definitely pots in three of the top scoring pockets. And Eight. he can get three or four pinks here without any problem. So he's going to get a 30 or 40 point lead before he has to do anything difficult. I think it's always key in a frame to win the match that you try and get 30 or 40 in front and then your big, big favourite. This is one of the greatest things about the Crucible and you know when it gets tense out there it goes so quiet really doesn't it you just can Point feel one. the tension in the air with everybody that's watching this match on this side of the screen you can see it's full on the other side as well Mark Williams and uh, he's playing over Point there two. Some great matches. They love it. Yes, it's great to see the different ages as well, isn't it, that have been coming to the Crucible for many, many years. He's under hit this one. Needs to be straight on this so he can hold for the pink in the middle. 28. Let's have a little look at the angle on this red, whether he can... Yes, he can hold it nicely for the pink in the middle. 29. Yeah, the work starts now, doesn't it, because the, the reds are now appear to be in the way of one another. This is a great chance. Now will you risk the little flick on the two reds here to try 35. and hold for the pink? I think if he just flicks off the right hand one of the two, half ball, that gives him a chance to win frame and match. And he's done that. Now that gives him a chance to inform him that. That was a very, very good shot. Very good shot. You see, the reason this shot was so important, it brings other reds 22. into play and gives him a chance without potting the black to win the frame. If those reds had stayed tight, he may not think? have been able to score enough to win. This has been a first-class performance. Ken Doherty's played very well this morning. He's going to have to play another little flick here. He can't, I don't think he can hold it. Just flick off the other red. 49. The winner plays Matthew Stevens in the next round. That'll be a bit of a potting match if, should Mark Allen go on to win. That's gone, gone astray. Played the gap. He didn't play the cannon. Well, Mark, you're 54 in front, black out of play, put the blue safe here or something like that. If you played the gap, a bit careless. <coughs> I'd put blue or pink safe here. Let's see what he does. Well, one thing's for sure, he's just been uh, stopped in his tracks. He was flying along then and it wasn't a great opening when he got in there. That's the difference today, where really. these boys are so good and they are off the pink as well as the black with break building, very clever. Yes, it looked like he was going to win the match there, didn't it, with the three more pinks? What he mustn't do here is move the brown. I, I think a big colour safe here. Don't play the brown. I'm going to say I thought he was playing to roll up to the brown. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Mark Allen, nothing wrong with that. Yeah, his thoughts there would obviously, the, the brown is tight, that's if it stays there, so if Ken got in, he'd have to play a very good shot now on the green to g give himself a chance at the brown if he ever got to that stage. Good shot. I'd be reluctant to play the... You know that Ken's uh, first chance is going to play the red onto the black to bring the black into play. And I don't blame Mark for playing this, but he's got to be careful, isn't it? Too thin. He might bring the red off the cushion on the side. Yeah. You see, he was being a little bit Fouls. too careless there. Ken Not Lockie careless. I mean, it wasn't necessarily the right shot. He's also brought the green back into play that he just put safe. And in the position where it's easy to get on the brown. Ken's considered it and put him back. 
to play, but now the green is replaced. I was can now have either played the shot <laughs> or, or put him where from where he was, because it wasn't easy safety anyway. But anyway. Yeah. I couldn't agree with you more. I mean, there's one thing I couldn't have done is had the balls replaced. Okay, the green's slightly nearer the cushion than it should have been. That's where it was, look, another inch and a half out. But there's no way in the world you should have had those replaced, can It's made a slight difference, Cannon, in the yellow. One has put the yellow closer to the cushion and also Ken has now got his hand on the table to play a type of safety he needs, but as well he was talking about, he'd like to split these reds on the bottom. He can't see those, the blue's in the way. Have to be careful he doesn't get a double kiss if he's playing uh, up and down or he's just dropping the red. Clever shot. Yes, it's clever. It's a clever shot if he's covered the red by the pink, but if he hasn't, he'll be in all sorts of trouble here. Huh? Get the white anywhere near the brown is fine. This is one of those where you, you're virtually playing the pot on the red because you know it'll spring away from the jaws. It's a clever little shot that, there's nothing wrong with that. Now Ken's got a chance to bring Black into play. safety. He had to play it off, swinging it round, run inside to stop knocking the red down to the left corner, but he hit it so thin the red's still on. He wanted that red to go across and back again. Yes, there's clearly two reds that are available, but he's going to need one of the difficult reds. Fifty-one in front. If he pops the blue, it's fifty-six. Red, fifty-seven. So if he can go red and a big colour, where the balls are, it's hard to determine whether you think it's the right shot having a go at this blue. But when you pop like that, I suppose it's worth having a go at anything. Very awkward bridging, but Mark is the type of player that he does go on rolls of pot and just goes for a lot, but gets most of them, and that's very unsettling for his opponent. Play that red as a Mark shot and nothing. Six. He's got the six points only, but that takes him 56 points in front. Still a bit to do. A bit to do, two balls. I mean, Ken is a 20 to 1 chance to win this frame where the balls are at the moment, but we know he's done it before. Now, this could be the end. If it flicks the green, it's an easy red. Well, that is a bit too Boswell, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I think that was tight. If you can get to the pot in angle, it looked a little bit tight. Anyway, it's gone by, whether you could see it or not. Mm. May have been a little bit of tension in the back on. Now oh then, Ken would like to bring some of these uh, bar colours into play at one stage. I'm not sure if you can uh, do it here and bring the yellow out. 
what he's got to do is get the red safe and he's played that exceptionally well he's covered the reds on the left hand side as we look at it I don't think Mark Allen's got a safety from the right hand side so it's cushion first maybe with the goal this red down into the left corner stay for the black Yes, and also, uh, this is actually a chance to be... I can't believe Ken's not taking this on. I cannot believe it, because he can get an off-ball angle on the black and split the reds from the black. Wow, that did surprise me, Ken. Yes, it was surprising, but he played to bring the green into play, and uh, he was a little unlucky, he kissed it safe. But I'm with you, Willie. I thought that red was on. Well, there are. Mark Allen's helping him out a bit. He's brought the brown into play with his safety shot. So it's not always the case when the ball colours are, are tight that uh, five minutes later they'll still be there. It's still a difficult uh, task for Ken Doherty for a win from here, but we've said that many times in the years gone by, and he's, he's found a way. Well, he's left Mark a possible shot to nothing in the corner. And the cue ball, as long as he doesn't catch the jaws of the middle pocket, can play as a shot to nothing. I think it'd have been a lot better off running that in. I think give the pocket a chance. But it's OK, it's gone safe. Now you can see the crucial nerves, ladies and gentlemen. It's always a hard to get over the line here. This green's having a bit of a rough time, isn't it? He's, he's just flicked it back safe again, Ken. <laughs> this happened three or four times in this frame. I think we call that a thin one. There's a bit of nerves out there with uh, Mark Holland. It'll be a huge win for him. It's biggest of his career, probably, as a professional, if he should go on to win it. So it's understandable. If he's not hampered, he would have a go at this red. I think he's snookered. Never mind about hampered. That's a great shot. And the reds, slowly but surely, are coming into potable positions, and the black is in play now. Oh, I don't like this. I do now. I do now. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. I think he played uh, the first red, not the third red. Well, there's a track there of three, an angle of three reds. Will you think he played the right shot? Now then, big shot coming up for Ken. Well, didn't fully commit to it, but it looks as if he's got away with it. He has, you know. <laughs> Tough though, when you're under extreme pressure. He knew it could have been his last shot in this year's championship. Oh, what a bonus that was for Mark Allen. Don't think he played that. He's canoned the uh, pink on the cushion. And there's still black and blue available if Ken gets the chance to get back into the frame, but when in from here, if the balls stay as they are, is uh, near impossible. Well, oh, so close to get him behind that brown again. It's a good shot. Had to play with an awful lot of side there, playing it as a shot to nothing and played it very well. Ken will be playing a similar shot here, around three cushions in behind the brown. Got to be a little careful here. The red he's making contact to could push another red right over the corner. 
Just keep an eye on this red here, look. There it goes. Can Mark get through to it? A three ball plant or cushion first? Whatever you fancy the best. Well, I definitely play cushion first, but uh, if he plays that and doesn't get it, he's going to uh, open the black up in the pocket. He's got it. He's on the black. Well, this One. has been an excellent match for Mark Allen. Ken Doherty, without playing well, forced away back into the game. And to be honest, I thought Ken was favourite when he got back within one. But you've got to take your hat off to this young man, Mark Allen. He's played one of the best match players in the world. On his debut here at the Crucible. And Matthew Stevens is not going to have it all his own way in the next round, because this boy can play. Come on, man. Come on, man. 16. Clench fist there. He knows now he's over the line. 17. Obviously his fans are a little excited. There is a match on the other side. But he, with his back against the wall, 24. he made a break of 76 when it was 6-all. That turned the match around. 25. Since then he's had 68, 41, 54 and 50. He's competed extremely well. Ken Doherty, always a gentleman, we congratulate Mark Allen, that was a fantastic performance from the young lad from Northern Ireland, he goes through beating a legend of the game, Ken Doherty by 10 frames to 7, very well played.